we are. We're coming to our portage area. Just gonna go off what my scouting reports say. All right, fans, we're out here on Lebanon Hill Saturday morning. Decided not to go into studio. A little bit of we got labor out. disputes. Yeah, labor we disputes. Got out. So, a great, beautiful morning, and we're out here walking, and uh, it's Oatano week, right? It and is. we're here with Charlie again. Popular demand. You know, some of the viewers yeah. talked about it was a better fit. Yes. And, you know, change, revamp, We retool. listened to the feedback. Yeah. You know, and we, the other thing is, we had a few people that have been kind of trying to step up as sponsors. Yeah. And that's kind of part of their stipulation right. as well. Yeah. We got to listen to the viewers. We have to do that too. So, to a point. To a point. Okay. So, we're going to Oatana, which always gets us excited. Yes, uh, it does. Can you give us a little history of the Oatana meet? Well, we first started going there. We have, people know I'm a history guy, so mm -hmm. I we keep track of the history. Uh -huh. The first time we were there is 1979. I obviously was not. Uh, not there. 79? Yeah. That, that, wow. So we used to be in Region 1AA. A year after I graduated from high school. Yeah, we okay. used to be in Region 1AA. Yep. And uh, it was a 16-team region that yep. included uh, mostly Big 9 schools. And then also, yeah. your Burnsville, Apple Valley, yep. um, you know, Rosemount yep. was all part of that. And so we've been, go we've been going there since 1979. And then we started my first year... Uh, after my first year, we started going to the Owatonna Invitational, which is now the Ebberg Invitational, yep. in 1998. So we were going to go there. We were going there twice a year yep. a until 2002. We yep. qualified for state in 2002. And then they kicked us out of this. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we're, the State High School League thinks we're like the Atlanta Falcons and Braves of the old days. We're in the Western Division. Drive two hours to our section meet. We passed one year to the Section 6 meet to get out to uh, Gale Woods. Uh, we passed Lake Nokomis that whole Section 5. Uh, we passed uh, Braemar that had another section. We, yeah. we passed like three section meets in order to get out to Section 6. They thought we were, like I said... I think it was an old Doug Grow article in the uh, <laughs> Minneapolis Tribune at the time before they renamed it Minnesota and added the stuff. When, when did we get moved back to Section 3, our geographical center, really? Uh, when they realigned everything. So in oh. 2007. It had nothing to do with us qualifying that year. No. Okay. No, no. But it, it that's that's what it, okay. that's what it has. So it's just a little bit different. Okay, so Owatonna, we always get jacked up because generally it's considered a fast course. Now... Some of the rumors are is that it's fast because it's short. Well, no, it's the same course as Ben. There's been one change okay. that's been done, and that was just for, actually, the change was made to make it easier to set it up and okay. everything else. So what used to happen is when you went out, the start's the same. Yeah. There was a, a, a short curve. Mm -hmm. And a long curve. Okay. So you do the short one time and the long the other part. But it's a fast course. It it can be. But but then but what why they, do you think it, then what they did is they split the difference. Yeah. And so now that's it that's what the course is now. Okay. Part of it's because it's just cooler. It's first cool cool meet of the season. That is true, yeah. right? Because weather -wise. it's cool weather wise. And it seems like it's gonna break again, right? Yeah. We've had a warm September. And when we used to run in the region meet, we might even get a, a you know a hard frost. It might the, the ground's yeah. harder at that point too so that makes a difference and, yep. and sometimes you know you're talking about a fast course but it's only a fast course if you make it fast right it's good footing and yeah. it's rolling hills nothing major so it's a fast course yeah. okay let's talk about the competition well maybe you should talk historically about the course okay should we mentioned yeah that oh bit. yeah like what is our fastest time well, i mean talk mark, fast give mark me a number Mc, mark mcmonigle ran 1517 Back in 1979, and that was part of a loaded uh, Region 1 uh, field. It included Todd Boonstra, uh, Olympian in uh, Nordic skiing. It included, I believe, Dave I'm... Morrison was in there. Originally went to Baylor. Yeah. And then uh, transferred Hi. to the University of Oregon. Yeah. He was a uh, Pac-10 champion yeah. at the time. Maybe I it might even have been Pac-8 at that Probably time. Probably our greatest alum in terms of national recognition. National recognition. Then yeah. he was an NCAA runner-up in the 10,000 meters yeah. to Keith Hansen yeah. in 1986. Okay. And then right with him there, uh, Mark Ryan also put up a pretty strong time. Okay. And many people know he's been a long time athletic administrator at the University of Minnesota. Okay. I, I don't know the official title right now, the way college athletics has changed. Uh, I think senior and associate are in the title somewhere, but I, I don't okay. know that for sure. So 
fast course. We hope we can have some guys maybe get brushing 16 minutes. Yeah, well, it, it kind of depends. I mean, uh, Luke Labatt went under 16 in, in kind of recent years. Spencer Schultz went 15, 58 okay. in recent years. Shane McCollum okay. was under. Shane yeah, McCollum, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he certainly was under. Yeah. Uh, in the year he went to Nike Nationals. Uh, so we've had guys under a lot of it does have the weather and yeah. some guys have run pretty well yeah. despite like we've had some strong winds yeah i remember when like nathaniel petrick back in 04 he ran like 16 in the 1620s i believe okay. somewhere in there so we're looking forward to fast times there 22 it, we had four guys under oh that's right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. our 2022 team yeah, yeah, yeah well we went they were like 1540 something no uh, yeah we had will harder was like 1539 ryan Maroon was 1541 uh, yeah. George, Edgar. George Edgar was like 1546 yeah. or seven. Yeah. And I know we didn't win the title Joey that year. Joey McNeil but that, was also under. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We didn't win the title that year, but that year's team at the state meet, I mean, as far as all time performance. Well, at St. Ol on the St. Olaf course, course, which they held the state meet for about 30 years, yeah. they have the third time, the third best all, all time. time. If you at take the five guys. Yeah, all take time their, yeah. team average. And I think the Wyzetta team that beat us was the all time. time and then there's one team that's in between and i yeah i can't name that out if i had to guess i'd say probably wilmer from 06 maybe yeah uh was probably the yeah. second best time you know what well, i thought maybe we just mentioned a little bit what a great season our seniors have had in particular you know uh connor amos is just having a fantastic well season. connor amos has really turned things around and there's i mean the guy that didn't make our team last year right right well he, he was early in the year was solid okay yeah and then uh at mail had a tough meet at mail but he was still on the griac team yeah. we, we felt he was one of our top 10 so yeah. he made the griac trip didn't go quite as well and then he ran the osteo invitational was actually our sixth guy yeah. of our varsity that uh, was made up yeah, of yeah, yeah. JV guys. guys. Yeah. And he just had a tough year and then yeah. he revamped over the winter. Yeah, really he ran, trained hard. Yeah, he ran nine forty six, I believe. Yeah. Nine forty five in the in the thirty two. He ran four thirty two of the mile. Worked hard this summer. Well just a little bonus coverage here out at Lebanon Hills <laughs> with with David Dreyer of Northfield. He's uh but he's, he's a fixture here in the summer. He is any time of the year. We really, affectionately right? call him thumbs up guy because when we're here in the summer training at Lebanon Hills he gives all our guys thumbs up out on the trails in fact we would have guys that would they didn't think they ran for, far enough yeah. if they didn't see thumbs, thumbs up guy <laughs> <laughs> That's right. so he's oh what a comment he's what he's what we call friend of the program he comes yep. and he's been to some meets well look at the hat he's wearing this yeah. morning yeah, yeah there we go yeah we'll get it and he's, he comes to some meets he's been to an alumni meet yeah. he's been to a few others so yeah. Yeah. uh we've just always great to see you adopted yeah. him yeah all right take care